Baker Mayfield refuses to say he's unhappy in Cleveland. The Browns quarterback is season already done before week 18, playing through injury up until this point. But the Browns are out of the playoffs, so no need for him to play against the Bengals this weekend. It has been a frustrating go, you could say, in Cleveland, especially for a team that was considered a potential Super Bowl contender at the beginning of the season. Baker tired of the accusations about this beef between him and the Browns or him and Kevin Stefanski responding to one reporter saying clickbait. You and many other Cleveland local media continue to be drama, stirring reporters with no sources or facts. Don't put words in my mouth so you can put food on your table. I'm not your puppet. Let's welcome in NFL insider Jason. Jason. Jason Lockenfor is one of them. We're lucky to have many. Jonathan Jones is another. And he has an insider notebook, which, by the way, you can find on CBSSports.com. It comes out every single week. JJ, I was going through it, and about a week ago you had this article about five options for Baker Mayfield. But you said at the time you think he's staying in Cleveland, so are you sticking by that? You know, even after that really bad performance Monday night against the Pittsburgh Steelers, I am still sticking by that because it ultimately makes the most sense when you look at it. And you're right, Amanda, there was sort of this five prong. Here are the options for the Cleveland Browns, and it includes using that draft pick uh, to maybe draft a guy. But that guy's not going to be ready in week one. He's not going to offer a better opportunity than May Baker Mayfield does in week one of the 2022 season. Maybe you go out and get a veteran bridge quarterback, but is he going to offer the better option than Baker Mayfield? Are you ultimately going to be able to offload Baker Mayfield's nearly $19 million fifth year option via a trade uh, and get back a, a proper sort of compensation? Probably not. And so you're left with really two options, and that is going after a Deshaun Watson or a Russell Wilson, and you may not be able to get one of those guys, uh, and what it would take to give that guy, give up for that guy, or you stick with Baker and you try to build around him and hope that here in year five at nearly $15 million uh, in that 2022 season, that something clicks, that he ultimately represents the best option for you. The other issues with bringing in one of those top quarterbacks who may or may not be available come the middle of March is, are they going to want to come with the current wide receiver weapons in Cleveland? And then the question becomes, can you add to the weapons that would include a 29 and a half year old Jarvis Landry in this free agency class with wide receivers? And it's going to be very dry around the NFL at wide receiver. The answer is probably no. And so where do you stand with Baker? Well, you stand with, you've already locked him up for the fifth year. You may as well go with him again in 2022. Not that what Cleveland Browns fans want to hear, but if we're all based in reality here in the first week of this new year, that's probably where it's going to wind up going. What's best for Baker, though? What does he want to do? Well, I mean, he, 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 you know, he disagreed with that report, as you just read, but he also uh, had some issues with play calling. He essentially admitted as much after the game uh, Monday night against the Pittsburgh Steelers that uh, maybe they weren't seeing perfectly eye to eye on things. Baker Mayfield uh, wants to obviously play. He wants to be competitive. He wants to start. And I think that the best opportunity for him right now is behind that offensive line in Cleveland, one of the top three or five offensive lines in the NFL with that running back tandem, the best running back tandem in the NFL with Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt. And then, you know, trying to figure it out with his tight ends and uh, maybe adding a couple of receivers in free agency sort of down the list, a, a number three wide receiver, for example. So, uh, and then obviously he has to get healthy. He looked like a guy who was out there playing with a bum shoulder, even if it wasn't his throwing shoulder. And what do you know? He was out there playing with a bum shoulder. Hopefully this surgery, when he's back around OTAs, he can put some good film out there for the Browns, roll into 2022, uh, more like the quarterback we saw a couple years ago than the one we saw this year. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.